The Tadsall's July sale got off to a spectacular start with a record-breaking session that exceeded all previous results at the midsummer fixture. Carte de Visite is a half-sister to Group 1 winner Raven's Pass, as well as Grade 3 winner Gigawatt, and sold to BBA Ireland's Eamon Riley for 270,000 guineas. Out of the Grade 3 winner Ascutney, the three-year-old filly will be heading to Maurice Regan's Newtown Anna Stud. Acting on behalf of the same client, Eamon Riley struck again earlier in the day when going to 250,000 guineas for Desert Snow, a three-time winner and listed place mayor. She is from the famous uh, Kirsten Rathen family, Landways, and it's very hard to get into that family so close. Coolmore have the Mare Jude, and they're breeding from that branch, and Kirsten has been very successful too. The five-year-old daughter of Tia Philo is in foal to Darley's freshman sire and 2,000 guineas winner, Knight of Thunder. Desert Snow's price was quickly matched when lot 162, Zuhuro Bayuna, entered the ring. The listed winning daughter of El Nadim is the first mare to be sold in foal to 2015's European champion sprinter Muhara. Underbidders included Seamus Burns and Oliver St. Lawrence, but it was Cormac McCormack who secured the three-time winning mare. Oliver St. Lawrence didn't have to wait too long before he made a purchase, going to 220,000 guineas to secure lot 169, Zoella, an invincible spirit mare in foal to Knight of Thunder. Zoella won on her debut for Godolphin trainer Charlie Appleby and is a half-sister to Group 3 winner Zibelina. There was plenty of international interest throughout day one, but it was Seamus Mills Bloodstock and the Chinese-based Yulong Investments who made a particularly large statement. They took their total purchases to nine when going to 210,000 guineas for lot 276, an unraised filly by Shamadal out of listed winner Lake Toya and from the family of Generous, Imagine and Wedding Bouquet. Targeted this sale uh, a couple of months ago, just thought that uh, the pedigrees here and so on on offer uh, would give us access to some of these better Northern Hemisphere stallions that don't come down uh, to Australia. So we'll be looking at all the good horses, uh, you know, Judd Monts and Shadwells and uh, Invincible Spirit, certainly one high on the list, and look to put these mares in full Southern Hemisphere time and, and bring them back down. The second day of the Tatsall's July sale continues on Thursday the 7th of July with 270 lots catalogued and hopes are high that the robust trade will continue.